Hi. <laughs> the Kissing Hand by Audrey Penn. Good morning, welcome. Please let us know who you are and where you're from. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to story time. Today we have The Kissing Hand by Audrey Penn. Looking forward to that one. Good morning. Oh wow, good morning to you, Alice Lungu Walia, all the way in Zambia, right? Good morning to you. Please tell us who's watching with you and hope you are fine. And hopefully your sister Grace is also doing wonderful. Good morning to you. So good to see you. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining in. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning to you, Jessica Riches and Ruby and Jack and Greg. Thank you for joining us all the way from England. How are you doing today? Absa, good morning to you. Thank you for joining us from Auckland, right here in Auckland. And thanks to you, Lydia, for joining us right here in Auckland. Good morning to you. Isabella, good morning to you, Leslie, and good morning to you, Luis. Josiah, good morning to you, buddy. How are you doing today? Right here from Auckland. Yes, Isabella, how are you? <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Absa. Thank you. So good. So glad to see you uh, following along today. Awesome. Good morning everybody and remember that we are reading The Kissing Hand by Audrey Penn. So I hope you are excited for that one just as much as I am. Good morning to you Ali May. Thank you so much for joining in. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I will try and have a great day. Thank you so much Ali. And good morning to you, Lacey. Good seeing you yesterday at the um, textbook giveaway. So that was really good. Good morning to you. Good morning to you, Ellen. You're saying from snowy Chicago. It's actually the opposite here in Auckland today. It is nice and bright. And I think they were saying it is the best day of the year so far uh, in terms of just the weather. Oh. I will try and share some of that with you, Ellen. Enjoy the snow in Chicago. Good morning to you, Jen Vedder. Thank you so much. Glad you could join us. Yes, the Rift book giveaway went smoothly yesterday. Lots of kids got their books and uh, about four that I still need to pass out for my own class. So that was really, really um, successful. Thank you so much, Jen Vedder, for doing all the hard work for us. Oh yes, thank you Alice Lungu, you saying you are watching with your kids Muelua, Chengelo, Zibella and Chiti. How are you guys doing? Thank you so much, I'm so glad you could join us. Muli Bwanji, Muli Shani, Mule Lila Kuzambia ka? Yes, awesome, I'm so glad you could join in. <laughs> Alright. Good morning and good morning to you, Stefan. Good morning to you, Owen, the warrior. And good morning to you, Ada, Miss Elsa. Thank you for joining in. And to you, Steve Wilson, how are you doing today? Good morning to you, Jessica. Good morning to you, Tyler. And a very, very, very big happy birthday to you, Langston. You turn four today, amazing. All right, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you have a lovely time with your family. Happy birthday to you, Langston, from myself and I'm sure everybody else from the Storytime community. Yes. Good morning to you, Maya and Raven. Yes, Maya, I have your card that I need to drop off. So parents, please let me know how best to get Maya's card to you. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Good morning, Langston. Thank you. Zaye Leilani, good morning to you. <laughs> yes, I love books too. Thank you. 
All right. Who do we have? Lyo, good morning. Good morning to you. Hopefully you're doing great today. And how's your brother, William? Awesome. Thank you for joining us. And Lyo, you are right here in Auckland. And good morning to you, GM. Let's see, Maria joining us from El Sobrante. How are you doing today? Oscar and Ruben, how are you doing joining us right here in Oakland? How are you doing? Awesome, I'm so glad you could join us. Thank you, Josiah, I am doing great. And we'll give it one more minute before we get started with the kissing hand. But yes, keep those messages coming, keep letting us know where you are joining us from. Good morning to you. Anders, good morning, right here in Auckland. Thank you so much for joining in. Awesome, yes. So, before we get started with our story, just a few things today. Of course, as you might have heard me say already, it is Langston's birthday today. So please join me in wishing Langston a very happy birthday. Yes, Langston turns four, amazing. All right, and uh, our book today is The Kissing Hand by Audrey Penn. And um, remember that Audrey Penn is a former ballerina and choreographer. And um, her book, The Kissing Hand, was a New York Times bestseller, number one bestseller, The Kissing Hand. And here are just a few facts about raccoons that you might not know. And if you do or have some more that you want to share with us, please, please, I encourage you, share with us, send them. Well, female raccoons are called sow, S-O-W. So if you didn't know, now you know. Male raccoons are called boars. And then young raccoons are called kits. Just some information for you. And then raccoons are named from their ha for their hands. The word raccoon comes from a Native American Powhatan word, a raccoon, which means animal that scratches with its hands. And then um, last one, but of course not the least, is that w once a raccoon, did you know that once a, a raccoon lived in the White House? The 30th president of the United States, Calvin Coolidge, had a raccoon pet called Rebecca. And you can read all about Rebecca and the history of how Rebecca came to be in the White House if you just search Rebecca the raccoon on the internet. You're welcome to find out more about that. But this is just a bit about raccoons. So I see that we have um, Chrissy Wheeler joining us all the way from England. Good morning to you. And good morning to you, Naima. Good morning to you, Nia. Thank you for joining us. And good morning to you, Cairo. Awesome. So glad everybody could join in. Good morning to you, Miss Samia. I'm so glad you could join us today. Thank you so much. Justine and Lily, good morning. Welcome today. Lily, it was good seeing you yesterday. All right, and be ready for your card, Lily. It is coming today. Yes, thank you so much, everybody, for joining in. I am great, Miss Samia. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we are going to get started with The Kissing Hand by Audrey Penn. Good morning to you, Amado. Thank you. All right, here we go. Chester Raccoon stood at the edge of the forest and cried. I don't want to go to school, he told his mother. I want to stay home with you. I want to play with my friends and play with my toys and read my books and swing on my swing. Please, may I stay home with you? Mrs. Raccoon took Chester by the hand and nuzzled him on the ear. Sometimes we all have to do things we don't want to do, she told him gently, even if they seem strange and scary at first. But you will love school once you start. You will make new friends 
and play with new toys. Read new books and swing on new swings. Besides, she added, I know a wonderful secret, secret that will make, you, make your nights at school seem as warm and as cozy as your days at home. Chester wiped away his tears and looked interested. A secret? What kind of secret, he asked. A very old secret, said Mrs. Raccoon. I learned it from my mother and she learned it from hers. It's called the kissing hand. The kissing hand, asked Chester. What's that? Do you know what the kissing hand is, kids? Let's find out. I will show you, Mrs. Raccoon. Mrs. Raccoon took Chester's left hand and spread open his tiny fingers into a fan. Leaning forward, she kissed Chester's Chester right in the middle of his palm. Chester felt his mother's kiss rush from his hand up his arm and into his heart. Even his silky black mask tingled with a special warmth. Mrs. Raccoon smiled. Now, she told Chester, whenever you feel lonely and need a loving, need a little loving from home, just press your hand to your cheek and think, mommy loves you. Mommy loves you. And that very kiss will jump to your face and fill you with toasty warm thoughts. She took Chester's hand and carefully wrapped his fingers around the kiss. Now, do be careful not to lose it, she teased him. But don't worry, when you open your hand and wash your food, I promise the kiss will stick. Chester loved his kissing hand. Now he knew his mother's love would go with him wherever he went, even to school. That night, Chester stood in front of his school and looked thoughtful. Suddenly, he turned to his mother and grinned. Give me your hand, he told her. Chester took his mother's hand in his own and unfolded her large, familiar fingers into a fan. Next, he leaned forward and kissed the center of her hand. Now you have a kissing hand too, he told her, and with a gentle goodbye and I love you. Chester turned and danced away. Mrs. Raccoon watched Chester scamper across a tree limb and enter the school. And as the hoot owl rang in the new school year, she pressed her left hand to her cheek and smiled. The warmth of Chester's kiss filled her heart with special words. Chester loves you, it sang. Chester loves you. I love you. Well, kids, thank you for joining in. I hope you enjoyed that. That was The Kissing Hand by Audrey Penn. And it is such a heartwarming book. I just feel the love from you all and just from reading that lovely message. I hope that you get to have those loving moments with your parents, your family, everybody that was with you at home. Thank you so much for joining us today. And I am super, super happy 
to celebrate Langston's birthday with him today. So please join me in doing that. And biggest thank yous for tuning in today and joining Storytime. If you want to find more of the stories, please go back to our pages, the YouTube page, right here on our Facebook page, and also on Instagram for more stories. Ones we've read in the past and the one we just read today. And tomorrow we are back with another exciting story and tomorrow we will be reading Sulwe by Lupita Nyong'o. So join us for that one tomorrow. Thank you so much everybody for joining in and let's just go back and see who else has come in to join us. Good morning to you Amado, yes. Good morning to you Smith. Thank you for joining us all the way out in Portland. I hope you are having an amazing day today. And good morning, Lacey. Yes, good morning to you, Tino. Thank you for joining in. And good morning to you, Zaye Leilani. Yes, awesome. Thank you, Ellen. Please, yes, do share that information that you find out about Rebecca the raccoon. The pet raccoon that was owned by um, Calvin Coolidge, the 30th president of the United States of America. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining in today. I wish you a lovely, lovely day. And I will see you right here tomorrow when we read Sulwe by Lupita Nyong'o. Thank you so much, everybody. Much love from me. I will see you in the morning. Bye-bye.